This is the, the apparatus we have here. So you want to have your, your uh, this is your round bottom. It's kind of where you're going to put your wine and your phosphoric acid. Make sure that this end has the pump attached. This, um, pump. this comes around to the cylindrical um, flask. And then this sits in here so pretty tightly. And then this is open. So what's going to happen is it's going to be pushing air through, it's going to bubble the wine, and then the gaseous SO2 is going to come through and then get... Um, it's, gonna, it's called a um, phosphoric acid trap. So gas is going to get trapped and bind to, bind to the... Uh, um, the water molecules and also form um, H2S4. Oh, and then we're going to titrate against the base. Like that that so it's in the book here. Look at all the chemical reactions that go on for this. Um, so, first of all, on this side, you want, to put, you want to make sure it's really imperative that this one is clean. Uh, Very good. How long did it this one doesn't have to be so clean. What should get through this side really needs to be clean. So that's why it says to here. Um, that this, this part has to be yeah. uh, that, that was like uh, one rinsed. One. You can grab. Okay. I thought there was when a. When you get off, you get off. There's one thing with distilled. You can grab rinse it off with distilled water. This quart distilled water inside. Where this one is clean. Yeah, the first step is to add um, 10 mils of um, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So this is a 0.3% hydrogen peroxide. Now I think what, the way they have it is in the refrigerator, there's a 30% solution. And when you, you want to make it a fresh you don't want to be saving this. When you come in, make it up. You can use, make an effort for you to use for the night. Um, but you can make it more if you need to. And then just discard it when you're done. You, know, you, know, you, know, um, you can either use the pipette and add 10 mils in, or this line is 10 mils. Um, so you can just pull it in. I actually that's why. So add about three drops. You want it to be this color, this kind of greenish color. Phenothaline does work. Yeah, phenothaline will work. It's just a a, um, a pH change measuring thing. So note this color, and I have that in bold. You remember what this color is? Not purple. Yeah, and it's green. Green. Because we're going to keep coming back to this color. <coughs>
couple different ones. This is nice. The phosphoric is in this. And you will have to do it. And we would end up having one to ten mils. So there's lines on the side here to just squeeze until it fills up. Hang on a second. So it's two mils. Yeah. 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 Have residue of that phosphoric acid on it on the outside. Yeah, so your hands will turn a little white, burn maybe. Not really burn. But. So, so this you want to do pretty quick. As soon as you aspect. add, as soon as you add the phosphoric, you want to get the this thing in tight and then head. Another Bubbling on this side too. So watch what's going to happen. So make sure that this turns color like that. It starts going purple. And that when you start timing? And yeah, as soon as you start. Uh, So somebody wants to go ahead and get um, started on another, you know, one of these other ones. Put wine and um, phosphoric and, uh, you know, spirits and more uh, fingers to go in. We could make one. This goes on that side, right? So this goes on this side here. This side.